YouTube. So I know it's not the end of the month, but today's video is a book of the month video, and here is why. This year I'm doing Vlogmica like I've done for the past two years, which is my version of Vlogmas, which um, is vlogging every day of Hanukkah. But Hanukkah this year is December 22nd through December 30th, so all at the end of the month, which kind of takes up my like end of the month content. I also have some other videos coming out at the end of the month, including my New Year's resolutions and my year in review video, and all that is gonna be going up around the same time. So I was like, I might as well just do my book of the month a little bit earlier in the month. And also I ended up reading my book of the month for this month in about a day. Yeah, about a day because I was doing some background work and was sitting and holding for very many, many hours and just sat and read this book basically in the one sitting. So thought I might as well just film it now and upload it now so you guys still get a book of the month for the month. So for the month of December, I have been reading Be More Chill by Ned Vizzini. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. Now, let's get into the video. The construction in outside the apartment today is violent. It's very loud, so I apologize for that at the current moment. I literally can't think straight because of the conjunction. <laughs> so I've had Be More Chill on my reading list for a very long time. I just don't know how long. I just remember putting it on my list a very long time ago and kind of forgetting about it. Then seeing it on my list of books to read, I went, oh, I should go buy that. The book Be More Chill is what the Broadway musical Be More Chill is based off of with music and lyrics by Joe Iconis. I didn't get to see Be More Chill when it was on Broadway, when it was off Broadway, and when it was performing regionally in New Jersey. Um, I don't really know why. I just, I never really got a chance to go see it. I think the reason why I had this book on my list is because I've read It's Kind of a Funny Story, which is another book by Ned Vizzini, which I really, really enjoyed. And since it's written by the same author, I was like, I'll probably enjoy it because I enjoyed his writing in the other book. So Be More Chill is in the world of fiction and it tells the story of Jeremy here, who is a teenager in New Jersey, who is dealing with the struggles of a normal teenager, um, trying to fit in, trying to be cool, and having a crush on a girl named Christine. And then one day he's told about a pill called a squip, which will make you be more chill and make you cooler. A lot of things change for Jeremy in his life after he decides to buy a squip and ingest a squip and that's where a lot of the action in the book takes place so I'm not going to spoil any of it for you. So the book is split up into two parts which is pre-squip and post-squip um, which is his life before he gets the pill and his life afterwards. Besides being broken up into those two parts the book is also broken up into very short chapters of about five to eight pages total I think for every single chapter. It makes the book go really really quickly and it makes it a very easy read as well. I forgot that Tom Busini writes his books and I, I kind of enjoyed that about it's kind of a funny story and it really helped to move along the story of Be More Chill as well. A lot of Be More Chill talks a lot about teenage male sexual frustration. This is something I haven't read in a book in a very long time because I don't know why, just a lot of the books that I've been reading lately don't have a lot of that as a topic of conversation, but Be More Chill has that as a pretty big focus throughout the entire book. Jeremy is a character that is kind of on the outside of the cool part of his high school life and he's very involved with having a crush on this girl named Christine and he talks a lot about his perspective of her as a girl and other women and the idea of being a guy outside of the cool part of society and how to fit in in that way but also not show his sexual frustration. There's a lot about that throughout the book that makes it a very good teen novel. The book is very open and honest about sexual frustration, especially for teenagers and especially for guys as well. So it's very interesting reading this as a girl um, and understanding a little bit more of that perspective. The book changes a lot as it goes into part two of the book, which is post-squip, because Jeremy becomes a lot more confident in himself. He understands a lot more about sexuality and going for women and doing that kind of thing. In my opinion, I felt like it was a little bit aggressive in that kind of way because there's a lot of situations where Jeremy is being told by his squip what to do in a sexual kind of situation and it feels very forceful because it's him understanding and learning about these things for the very first time. The squip becomes its own kind of character in the book and it's characterized by having the voice of Keanu Reeves, which I think is very, very funny. So it makes for good conversations between Jeremy, between the squip, between both of them together and discussing how the squip is going to make Jeremy be more chill. There's a lot of discussion throughout this book between Jeremy and the squip and between Jeremy and his friend Michael about how being cool is better than being your authentic self. Now this is an idea that I definitely understand growing up as a teenager that being cool seemed, seems cooler than being yourself and that's what Jeremy goes through a lot in this book of trying to 
use the script to be cool but also still be himself in a kind of way. He has a very human reaction to the script whereas a lot of other people who have the script kind of just let it take over their entire lives and that shows a lot of Jeremy's character development throughout the entire book that he doesn't want the script to fully take over his entire life. So if you're looking for a fun YA novel I'd say go for Be More Chill. It is a fun fiction novel and then you also have a musical version of it as well that you can listen to the music for and probably find a bootleg of online. If you've read Be More Chill let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and if there's any other books you like for me to read, leave that in the comments down below as well. Stay tuned for more content coming throughout the holidays on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching DFTBA and I will see you guys next time. Bye!